Hey everyone, Broben here, and welcome back to Planet Craft Up. So, last episode we finished up with this. It's a nice little starter base. However, everyone in the comment section was telling me that this is a bad location because basically it's going to fill with water. So, we are going to be migrating. Ooh, good timing on that nice unlock. We're going to be moving somewhere, and I don't really know where. So, um, let's take a little look around here. I think I want to check out over there for a base location. So, you know what? Let's just head over here and see what's over there. I think I'd like to set up over there, but it seems a little close and far away from everything else. Ooh. What? I've not been up here yet. This is interesting. You know, this looks like it's all going to fill with water. Dude, look at that. All right. This is cool. I've just got to find a base location. I have no idea what to look for. I might just set it up on the hill up here. So I've decided that right here looks good enough for me, which is the base is just over there. So it's an interesting location, but I'm happy with it, I think. So we're going to make a two by three starting location. It's going to be floating for now because honestly, why do anything else? Okay. Yeah, this is nice. It's, it's not amazing until I find a, a really good permanent location, but it's a nice little medium for now. So I'm gonna get some migrating things over here and I'll see you in like four years when I get that done. Jesus, man. Talk about the red planet. <laughs> this is insane. Crazy biome changes right now. Jesus. I almost died. Great, I'm about to die. <laughs> yep, dead. Amazing. The game just killed me and didn't drop my inventory to the ground. I died right here. Nice! Ooh, that is quite a nice view. So, most of the old base has been dismantled and I've moved up here. It is temporary, the storage for now, but these are the new lockers. Much, much more storage. Um, however, they do come at three times the cost, so... Maybe they're not entirely worth it. I don't know. I'll have to play around a little bit more, but I'm going to move the last little bits of the base here, and then we can go, I guess, exploring and check out that. That looks interesting. And there we go. That's everything. The whole base is gone. That's weird, isn't it? Right. I've got some new solar panels set up here. That took a total of 40 minutes to get that transferred. That's gone quite quick. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised. So... We're going to get this all set up, and I'm going to set down, obviously, the new drills and stuff like that that I've unlocked recently. Um, so let's jump ahead and do that. Uh, that's a lot of resources. I love it. Juicy. All right, let's get this new drill set up. I wish I could level terrain, because working on <laughs> You know, it's just rather goofy. But, I mean, if I have to use it <laughs> like this, I will. So pretty much everything that I need right now is requiring aluminium. So I'm going to head over to this ship. And hope that there's something or some here. I really want to check out over there. It looks so cool. Okay. Oh, immediately we've got a breach. Anything we can dismantle? No. Okay. Let's take a look inside. I'm assuming it's going to be the same as the other one now that I've seen this. Whoa, now. Careful. <laughs> that looks dangerous. Oh, I'll take the fabrics. Thank you. I didn't bring any oxygen. I'm going to die. No. Damn, that's so frustrating. Well, live and you learn. I brought water instead. Can't live out here on water alone. Damn. Oh, there's a cave there. So I did end up getting a chip from that. So let's decode this. Where do I do that? It's here. What do we get? Mining speed tier three. Lovely. Going to make the exoskeleton tier two as well. That should give me way more space. Yeah, lovely. And that's binding speed tier three done. A nice juicy upgrade once again. Ooh, actually, also, I can make the agility boots tier two. That will be very nice. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Oh, wow. That's a great upgrade. I did use all my aluminium, which was my only chance at growing food. I probably should have looked into that a bit more. Right, let's go out adventuring again. Nice. So, we're going to check out what's in this cave here. Hopefully. 
The only thing I need right now. Oh, oh, I see red. Is that iridium? Is there anything to explore in here other than the cave? Any new resource? Iridium, by the look. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I don't come in here right now. What is that? Oh! Hell yeah! What an interesting cave. Very bizarre. Lots of iridium though. I'm definitely going to be coming back here. I want to get loads of heaters for sure. Whoa now. Starts melting. What does that say? I can't read it. I can't read it! Starts melting at 100 NK. Oh. I don't want that to melt, I don't think. Oh my god, I can climb up it. What's in there? Oh! Freaky. Oh god. Alright, well I've got loads of aluminium now. Actually a really good amount. So I'm gonna take that back to the base. I did bring loads of oxygen. Whoa. Cool. Looks like the falcon from here, the landing falcon. Okay, decode. Please, a shredder machine. Hold on, what? Okay, well, we'll play around with that. I'm gonna upgrade these to the new veggie tube tier 3, because these are only tier 2s right now. The jump is quite significant. Okay, so, let's see how big this is. Can I... Do I have to build this outside? Oh, thank god, that's so much better. Honestly, I'm gonna put these all the way up here, get them out of the way. <laughs> I know it's a bit far, but whatever, honestly. So I just went through the list and it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get any other... Any other upgrade for my... My oxygen tank. Interesting. This is as good as it's gonna get, apparently. Whoa! Look at the sky! Okay, we're gonna do some major expansion on the base right now. Can I go into here? No, no, and no. Okay, nice. Well, let's go upper floor. Uh, so let's just... Yeah, let's just make it too high. All the way across. I've got loads of resources on me. And that will be done. Nice! That is a large, chunky base now. So, the foundation. I might even just start adding foundations for the look of it. I think it'll look a bit weird without. Advanced craft station unlocked. Apparently I just reached blue sky. That was the objective. I thought it was way further ahead. But no, it's just because it changed to uh, K for 1000. Alright, cool. A nuclear reactor. And a heater tier 3. Good timing, Iridium. Let's make the food grower in the sort of living quarters area here. Right, let's do two. I feel like I'm going to need that. I have some seeds somewhere here. No, no, good seeds. There we are. Eggplant and squash. Let's see how this works. So we just chuck that in. Like that. Chance to get seeds back, 100%. For both of them. 30% grown already? Alright, well, I'll leave that to go and we'll just see. What is happening with the sky right now? Okay, we're back to orange. Okay, we're heading out. I need more aluminium. So, we're gonna go over here to this weird formation that I've been wanting to go to for a while. There's probably some aluminium landing around in the meteor strikes as well. Yeah, I see some right there. You see the, the glistening? Ooh, there's a few places I want to go to. That looks interesting. And also over here, so... Let's go here first. This has been my objective for a while now. So, we do in fact have a crashed ship up ahead. So, we're gonna be heading over there in just a mo. This aluminium is way too important. It's so bright when you interact with it like that. Alright, let's take a look in here. Once I've just double-checked everything, like this. Can't deconstruct it. Interesting. Can I get in? Hello? Maybe on the other side? I don't think I can get in. <gasps> oh! Yes! Ooh! <gasps> Storage. Two aluminium. Space food? I'll take space food. Oh, wow. Thank you. Right. Got two more slots. I might even leave the iridium. Let's find some more al aluminium here. I love that my base glows like that with the solar panels. That looks so good. Okay, let's unlock these two chips here. The code, an area lamp, and what else? A GPS. A GPS. What? Huh? Okay. The advanced craft station. We'll plop that right here in front of the window, I think. 
like that. Let's see what we can make now. Aha! It all makes sense. Rocket engine. Dude. Jetpack! <laughs> Never mind about the backpack thing I said earlier. <laughs> okay, how much uranium do I have here? Let's get all of this. And craft that into uranium rods. Oh, that's so sick. I can only afford one. So I want to make this heater. Jeez, that just sped up a lot. So I'm getting plus 28 heat from this. And this I'm getting plus 4. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> let's just get rid of the old one. I'm going to make these two my objective. That's a lot of super alloy. Do I have any left over? I doubt it. I don't. I have to make six super alloys. Jeez. I mean, it's doable. All right, let's do it. This is going to take a while, I think. Oh, I can just spam it. Nice. Nice. That's only four. <laughs> Launch platform? What on earth does that take to build? Actually, that's not too bad. I can do that. <laughs> I was expecting way more. <laughs> Alright. Cloud. I just got an achievement for clouds and... <gasps> Dude! We're doing it. We're doing it. That's so sick. Well, I should now be able to upgrade the oxygen tank and backpack. So let's do that one and that one. Lovely. So let's see what this does. Did I even upgrade it? Did I get like one extra row? That seemed really puny. I mean, hey, I'll roll with it for now. My oxygen's definitely gone up. So that is going to be everything for episode two of Planet Crafter. If you enjoyed all the exploration, base building, and stuff like that that we did today, don't forget to drop a like on the video. I really would appreciate it, and it helps support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.